Quinny. Should I have the song in the spirit of Taekwondo? Sija, sir, I will practice in the spirit of Taekwondo with courtesy for fellow students, loyalty for my instructors, and respect for my juniors and seniors, sir. Trio, Quinny. ATA. All right, welcome to class, you guys. So we are going to get started off with some of our kicking combos, and then we're going to get to some extreme stuff. So we're going to start off with a slide side kick, back leg, front kick, round kick, reverse hook kick. When you guys do it, I'm really looking for your reed chambers and good technique. So let's start it off nice and easy. Everyone step back with your left leg loud. Oh, yeah. So when you do your right leg side kick right now, I'm looking for the pivot and the reed chamber. So when I do it, I'm going to chamber, side kick, reed chamber. I want a nice tight reed chamber. Let's go ahead and do five of them. Hands up, ready, one. Oh, come on, you guys, where's that big side kick? And two. Ready, three. And four. And five. Nice pivot, you guys. So, following that now, we're gonna go back leg, front kick, round kick. When you do your front kick, round kick, I want to make sure you have a good chamber and that you guys are pivoting at the same time you guys are kicking, all right? So my hands are gonna be up. Let's try this, ready? Chamber, side kick. Land, back leg, front kick, round kick. Did you pivot at the same time? That's gonna help you get a lot more power in your kicks, right? Let's try it again. Hands up, ready, side kick. And front kick, round kick. There you guys go. I wanna make sure you guys still have that good balance. So how about after we go front kick, round kick, you guys hold your reach chamber and then put it down. Let's really show that balance. We're gonna challenge you guys a little bit. All right, hands up, ready, side kick. Land, front kick, round kick, re-chamber, hold that re-chamber. There you go, let's do it again one more time. Then we're gonna add on a reverse foot kick. Ready, hands up, and side kick. Land, front kick, round kick. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and add on our reverse foot kick. And then we're gonna get to some teaching. I want you guys to practice teaching the class and explaining something, all right? What are you gonna communicate on this last part? What are your eyes? I want your eyes right up here. All right, hands up. Ready, so number one, we're gonna go side kick. Bam, reaching. Number two, we're gonna go front kick, round kick. Front kick, round kick. Number three, I want you guys practicing your spin, hook kick. So we're gonna spin, hook, land all the way behind us. When you do your hook kick, I really want you working on keeping that body up as straight as you can rather than turning, okay? Let's try it again. Ready, hands up. We'll do it one more time together and then we'll go fast. So ready, front leg, side kick. Big pivot, land, back leg, front kick, round kick. Land, keep your body up. Where's that focus? Turn, hook, land all the way behind you. Outstanding job, you guys. All right, so let's do that five times. And then I'm gonna have one of you guys teach the whole class. Who's gonna be focused? Who's gonna be ready to lead, okay? Hands up, ready, and side kick. Front kick, round kick, spin hook kick. Ooh, I think right now Samar might have been going the fastest. Who's gonna kick like a leader though? If I'm going like this, side kick, front kick, round kick, hook kick. What do I look like? Am I communicating that I'm a leader? No, I'm gonna look right now who is communicating that they're strong, that they can lead the whole class, you guys. We're gonna do it five times. I want you to imagine like you're sparring, or like you're breaking a board. Ready, and one. Side kick, front kick, round kick, reverse hook kick. Ooh, Zachary's doing it the strongest. Who else is gonna be leading, okay? I want you guys to be a leader today. Even if you weren't a leader at home, Maybe you didn't make lunch. Maybe you didn't help clean. Maybe you terrible. Whatever it is, we're gonna be a leader right now, okay? You guys got this. Hands up, ready, and go. Side kick, front kick, round kick. Spin, hook kick. Because if you guys are kicking like that, I know you're gonna kick your chores out of there. You're gonna kick 
the dishes into the dishwasher. You guys are going to do a great job at home. We got two more. Ready? Hands up and go. Side kick. Front kick, round kick. Spin hook kick. Oh my goodness, Daniela, that was a beauty of a spin hook kick. Outstanding. All right, you guys, we got one more. Last one, what do you say? Best one. Who's going to look like they got Popeye legs with their kicks? Ready and go. Side kick. Front kick, round kick. Spin hook. Ooh, I like the speed tack. I think that was the fastest one. All right, you guys, let me see everyone set. Yes, sir, set. So your challenge right now is to teach. I need two volunteers to teach the whole class. But when you teach, I'm going to be looking for two things. Number one, you've got to pick something to teach them. So whether you're teaching them balance or maybe speed or keeping their hands up, maybe keeping their eyes up, maybe keeping a good solid soul, maybe working on reaction, maybe working on timing, maybe working on some joints alignment, whatever it is, I want you guys to pick one thing to work on. Number two, you to talk about the C word, communication. I want you guys to make sure you guys are talking about the look, the listen, the talk, the lead, something regarding good communication. What do you think? Can you do it? Who, who can raise their hand? Who wants to volunteer to teach the whole class? Okay. Emily, I saw your hand up. Are you ready to get this going? All right, Mr. Magnus, gonna unmute you, Emily. We're gonna, we're gonna spotlight you so everyone can see you. All right, Emily, let's start teaching. Let's go, Emily. I want you to take him through that sidekick. How guys, how are you doing today? Great, ma'am. Today we are going to be doing a, a few side kicks. Yes, ma'am. Step back with your right leg. Oh yeah. On my count. One. Aya. Two. Oh yeah. Three. Four. Good, Emily. Five. Switch legs. Now, Emily, what are they working on right now? Uh, what do you want them to make better about their sidekick? Are they just sidekicking because they want to be fairy princesses? Or are they sidekicking because they want to have power, because they want to work on their pivot or their bo body position? What do you want them to work on? Their pivot. Their pivot, all right. Everyone, did you hear that? Miss Emily wants to see your pivot. All right, keep going, Emily. Switch legs. Yes, ma'am. Uh, on my count, one. I uh, two. I uh, three. Four. Five. Set. Yes, ma'am, set. And Emily, what do you still have to talk about? What's the C word? Communication. Yes, so I want you to tell them one thing about communication. What do you think? Do you want to talk to them about how they look? Do you want to talk to them about how well they listen? Do you want to talk to them about how confident they sounded even though you couldn't hear them? Or do you want to talk about how well they lead? Did you? Just... <laughs> Emily, you there? <laughs> Did she just run away? Okay. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> All right, Emily, is Ellie going to talk about communication? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Emily. We're giving you a solid C+. Plus. Okay. Oh. So we're going into who else wants to volunteer to take us through who can teach? Oh, Nathan, your hand shot up like a rocket ship on a beautiful NASA day. So go ahead. Take us through, Nathan. I want you to be teaching us. On. Let's do the same thing. Side kick, front kick, round kick, reverse hook kick, or just one piece of it. 
Remember your two challenges. I want you to pick one thing that you think is really awesome that they can make better and one thing about communication. Um, how are you doing today? Fantastic, sir. We're gonna be working on our hook kicks. Yes, sir. Our, our goal is to make sure we keep our legs back after we hook. Yes, sir. Alma, step back with your right leg. Ah. On my count, one. Ooh. You can do this. Two. Thank you for the encouragement. Three. Four. Five. Mariosh, Samar, do you think you can kick higher? Now, Nathan, what do you want them to work on? You told them to work on what? Bending their knee? Make sure they reach it. They go, they chamber. They re chamber. Good, good. So um, now, this time, I want you now to talk to them about some way they can communicate. Are they communicating the way through they look? Confidence from their hook kick? Are they communicating loud key ops? Are they communicating? <laughs> I believe. All right. Anyway, Nathan, keep talking about that communication. Let's go. Right. Um, what next? Oh, next time, time you bring your legs back. Make sure that you, that it's back and that your chamber in your front leg moves smoothly, or else you'll have to, it. It'll be it'll be rough and it'll be harder to get to. Chamber fully back. Um, six. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Eight. Aww. Nine. Two. Ten. Oh. Uh. Did you talk to him about the C word, Nathan? Okay, perfect. Well, that's outstanding job, sir. Let me see everyone go ahead and set. Yes, yeah, sir, set. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna get into our leaders in life. I want to talk to you guys about being a leader in life. We're gonna focus on the last two today. Um, so we're <laughs> let's go through one through eight, and then we're gonna talk about the last two today. So number one is what? positive attitude right having a good positive attitude even if let's say my hair looking extra poofy or something be like man i look terrible i can be like you know what i'm gonna rock it today i'm gonna have some we're just gonna make it extra poofy whatever it is that's having a good positive attitude even when things don't work out the way you want number two is what Facial expressions, right? Having good facial expression, making sure that you, like if let's say someone's talking to me about maybe a member that like their duck, maybe their duck died. I'm not gonna look at them and be like, no, that'd be terrible. I wanna make sure I'm like, I'm sorry, are you okay? Like that, that's the facial expression I should have. Nathan, when'd you move to San Francisco? So anyway though, we wanna make sure that you guys have understand facial expressions how they can affect other people number three is what personal approach <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh nathan all right i want to make sure you guys have a good personal approach right now we can't do fist bumps and chest bumps and all that all the bumping but you guys can look at each other and give each other nice words or maybe eventually we want to be able to have strong handshakes that's how you can be a leader we don't we know fishies you guys know how it is we want to burn all right so number one is what positive attitude number two facial expression number three personal approach number four active listening we want to listen and make sure we're talking back to them if someone's telling me about their duck i don't want to be like Quack. No, that's not 
active listening. They're telling me, I'm gonna be like, no way, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Can I help? What? Really? Oh my goodness. Let's go to PetSmart. Whatever it is, I wanna make sure. I'm <laughs> I want to make sure that you guys are actively listening, okay? Number five, everyone's a thoughtful response. <laughs> when you guys are giving a good, thoughtful response, what does it consist of? Three things, right? We want to say, that's a great question. We want to continue it after that. So if let's say someone says, do you have a pet duck? I can be like, that's a great question. I don't have a pet duck, but I have a pet fish because I like fish. We always want to make sure we give them a respond to the question, say that's a great question, and give them a because. So let's try it right now. I'm going to ask you guys all a question. What is your favorite animal? So what should you say? That's a great question. My favorite animal is a tiger. Because they're tigerlicious. <laughs> Whatever it is, I want to make sure that you guys have, that you give those three part answers. All right, let's try another one. What was your favorite part about your weekend? You can be like, my favorite part about my weekend was playing games with my family because I love my family. Something as easy as that, but that's, very thoughtful rather than be like, it was good. No, no, I want good, thoughtful feedback. So number one, what is it again? Positive attitude. Number two, facial expressions. Number three, personal contact. Number four, active listening. Number five, thoughtful response. Number six, integrity in my speech. Everyone say, don't be an exaggerator. If I tell you, by golly, I'm gonna be there at six o'clock, you better not be there at 601. That's taking away your integrity. If let's say I tell you I have five ducks, but in reality, I don't have any, I'm over exaggerating. That's not having good integrity in my speech. You want to make sure you always are trustworthy. Am I going to trust people that are not showing good integrity? No. So I want you guys to really think about why or be showing good integrity in your speech, even if it's a little tiny white lie. I don't know why they're called white lies, but even if it's a little tiny lie, we want to make sure that you guys aren't doing that. We always should be telling the truth. Number seven is what? Realistic and specific compliments, right? We want to make sure that we're giving compliments to our family, our friends, our pets, everyone. And don't just be like, I like your quack. No, if it's like a duck, I want to be like, I really like my little duck because he listens to me very well. Whatever it is, I want to make sure that you guys are very, very specific with your compliments. Number nine, everyone say set personal goals. So let's talk about this really fast. Zachary, what is one of your personal goals? Off the bat, what's one of your personal goals regarding Taekwondo, school, fitness, life, family? Say, what's one of your goals? I'd say probably getting my fourth degree. Ooh, going to get the stripe on your leg. I like that. That's a, that's a great answer, Zach. Do you see that active listening? Do you see that thoughtful response? That's what I'm talking about. I could have just been like, cool. No, we're not do that. We always try and be, we're trying to be thoughtful. Emily, tell me, what is one personal goal you have in life? Don't go get, don't go get Ellie. You tell me. What's a goal you have, Emily? Um, Probably to be, huh. Be a worker at, pet, at a pet shop. Work at a pet shop? Like with the little duckies? Uh, no, like Petco and stuff like that. So I can take care Petco of Petco has ducks, don't they? All right, anyway. No. Daniela. They have Daniela, they don't have ducks. Oh, anyway, so Daniela, what what do you think? What's one personal goal you have? Um, to take care of animals if they're sick, if they need help. Say that again, Daniela. Take care of animals if they need help. Or you take care of animals too. 
you and Emily can both go and be friends with all the cats and fish and ducks and dogs. <laughs> all right. Sabriash, Samar, I need one of your personal goals as well. What is one of your personal goals, Riyash and Samar? Learn about art. I just want to be a scientist. A scientist? Yeah. Like with the lab coats? Um, I don't have to have a lab coat. <laughs> that is true, but that'd be awesome. That's really cool, Samar. And I'm, I'm sorry, Riyash, what about you, Samar? What's one of your goals? He wants the same as me. He's pointing at me. Samar, can you say it? Be a scientist. You want to be a scientist too? What kind of scientist? Like a animal scientist? You're going to work with Emily and Daniela? Or like a physiologist scientist that works with like, what, what, what kind of scientist works with you? I don't know what kind of scientist I want to say. You can be a psychologist. All right, anyway, James. James, my dude, what, what is one goal you have? Um, my goal is to learn how to work with sharks. Work with sharks? Holy yeah. moly, that's pretty awesome. Like in the water? Yeah. You're gonna be like the alligator hunter, but like James, the shark hunter. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, PewDiePie fans. Who is this? Durkey. <laughs> what, Durkey, what, what is one goal you have? It's the same from yesterday, the day after four. What goal is that? To get my black belt, actually. To get your black belt? That's a good goal, Durkey. I'm glad you have your eyes focused in on that. Miss Ayel. What is one of your goals, my dude? Um, my goal is to get district or world championship Ooh. when I get my black belt. And world, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty hard to do, but I know you can do it. You've been working really hard, sir. That's awesome. All right, you guys. Well, that that's number nine. Number ten is what? Everyone put the V's up. Everyone say victory personal victory. You guys just all told me those goals about scientists, about duck doctors, about being, working at the pet store, about all these, fourth degree, black bell, world champ, all these are awesome goals. Now, when you achieve them, we got to have some sort of personal victory. You can't just be like, oh, on to the next. No, I want to make sure that if you're doing it, I'm be like, I just achieved my goal. So I'm going to, Go get a bucket of ice cream or whatever it is. What is your personal victory? I want you guys to think. And that, that's what we're always trying to achieve, all right? So one more time. Let's go through them. Number one, positive attitude. Number two, facial expressions. Number three, personal approach. Number four, active listening. Number five, thoughtful response. Number six, integrity in my speech. Number seven, realistic and specific praise. Number eight, Do any of you guys remember? Praise, correct, praise. Number nine, set personal goals. And number 10, victory. You guys are doing awesome, guys. I'm very, very impressed. All right, so let's go ahead and finish off with some weapons. I want everyone to go grab their jong bong. Jong bong, go ahead. Go. Oh, that's a beautiful family, Nathan. All right, go ahead, go grab your jong bong. Let's go. All right, all right, you guys. Let's go through our extreme leadership form and legacy form now. You guys have been doing outstanding with it. The one move we're gonna try and add today is we're gonna go from our advanced palm spin to an around the back catch. Oh boy, it's gonna get exciting today. Let's try and get through this form three times. Everyone scoot back a little bit. Remember, put in your left hand, and two, two, two. A T A. All right. Three sets. Four. One, two, three. You guys know how to do it. Under, over, catch, ha. 
We are Team Ignite. Ah, all right, take your steps back. Everyone grab it. Who looks confident? Step forward, strike. Play ah, strike. Ha, huh. overhead, cut. Ha, huh. one, two. Ha, huh. ha, huh. figure eight. Step forward, step. Ha, huh. pull. Whoa, that's segment one. Segment two. We have our tornado under the legs. Ready, one, two, three. Tornado kick. Whoa, under the leg, strike. Ha! Ah. All right, next part. What do we have? Do you guys remember? We have our low, mid, high. One, two, strike. Ah, yeah. And last section. Over the head, palm spin. Ground. We're not done yet. Behind the back, catch. Over and ha! Ah. And that's going to be our finish. The big behind the back move. Our goal in reality is to get to like a behind the back shoulder throw. But right now, I'm just gonna start with a little whoop, just a little behind the back movement, okay? Let's do it again. Mr. Magnus, we're gonna do it two more times. I want you to pick one leader this time for everyone to battle the next time, right? Everyone, force catch it. Grab it in that left hand. Nathan, what is your question, sir? Hi. I, I used to know how to do the back over shoulder. I just haven't practiced it in a long time, so I'm not really sure how to do it. All right, we're going a little bit slower this time, buddy. You got this. Everyone grab the jong bong. Tria. Be wrong bong. All right, go ahead. Take three steps forward. Down, over, catch. Ha! We are Team Ignite. Yeah! Take three steps back. All right, you guys, let's be karate kishes. Ready, step forward, strike. Ha! Strike. Ha! Over and cut. Ha! One, two. Ha! Ha! Be great. Step forward, stop. Ha! Pull it. Ha! All right. Tornado under the leg. Whoa. Spin. Strike. Ha! All right. Here comes our last part. Low. Mid. High. Step up, down, up, big rate, strike, ha. Get ready, it's gonna go over the head. This is the hard one, ready? One, two, three, we've been practicing it. Over, palm spin, grab. Now from here, we're gonna go behind the back and grab, ready? One, two, three, behind the back, grab. Spin, finish, ha. All right, Mr. Magnus. Miss Ayala, I love for that deluxe version. <laughs> Zachary, all right. Mr. Smith over there. Of course, he's the leader. All right, we got one more. Last one, what do you say? Best one. Who's going to be stronger than Zach? Let's go ahead and spotlight Mr. Smith, Mr. Magnus. All right. Mr. Smith, show us how it's done. Face four, two to Yes, sir. Good night. Hey, to, oh, Mr. Smith, do you have a question? This is actually the first time that I've uh, done this form, so. What? Yeah. You're a, you're a natural. All right, well, we'll keep you in spotlight. You hit gallery mode, and then you can follow. All right, ready? Go ahead. Three steps forward, let's do this, you guys. Ready? Mr. Smith, they're battling you. Let's go. One, two, three, under, over the head. Present yourself. Ha! We are team Ignite. Yeah, right, three steps back. One, two, three. Everyone grab a weapon. Ready, step forward, strike. Ha! Strike. Ha! Over, cut. Ha! One, two. Ha! Ha! Figure eight. Step. Ha! Pull it. Ha! All right, tornado under the leg. Ha! Turn. Strike. Ha! Low, mid, high. Low, mid, high. One, two. Big rage strike. Ha! All right, over the head. Ready? One, two, three. Balance on the palm. Grab. Behind the back. Grab. Spin. Finish it. Ha! Woohoo! Mr. Smith, I hope your ceiling is okay. But you, you, my man, rocked it. Outstanding job. All right, the rest of you guys. Face forward and trio.
screening. Let's get bowed out nice and strong. Who's gonna communicate they're strong with that voice? Ready, everyone say, sir, I shall live with perseverance in the spirit of Taekwondo, having honor for others, integrity within myself, self-control in my action, sir. Pretty. ATA. All right, you guys, go ahead, come on in. If you guys have not already, make sure you guys schedule your free one-on-one -on -one private lessons. Want to make sure you guys are coming on to the studio and working with us nice and strong. Also, don't forget testing. It's going to be on August 19th, 20th, 21st, and we should be opening up very soon. We're in the last stage of the um, permit process. All right, you guys. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Tuesday. Go get some tacos. And as always, see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.